This question says that W of t be the number of acres of wetlands in Alabama t years after 2000. And we are going to interpret this right here. So as we can see, we have W of 10. Well, in this case, t is equal to 10. So that means we are talking about the year of 2010 because it's 10 years after 2000. Similarly, this right here, we are talking about five years after 2000. So it's the year of 2005, all right? And now if you look at the whole thing, W of 10 minus W of 5 over 10 minus 5, this is the average rate of change formula. So I'll just write this down, average rate of change formula, rate of change formula, name the ARC, all right? So when we interpret this, we better mention the word rate. Well, you can also be fancy a little bit. You can say on the average of so-and-so, right? Well, let's see how we can interpret this. First, let's mention the years from 2005 to 2010, right? So let me just put this down right here. Between the years of, between the years of 2005 and 2010, well, W of T is the number of acres of wetlands in Alabama. So I'll just say things like Alabama's, Ala, Alabama, not Alabama, Alabama. And we're talking about its wetland, right? Alabama's wetland. And have a look right here. This right here is negative. So are we gaining or are we losing? We are losing, right? Because we have no negative rate. So I'll just say disappearing, right? So I'll just say this right here is just disappeared. Disappear. And now let's go ahead and mention at a uh, at rate. So again, because we are talking about the average rate of change, so we say at a rate of and right here, because I mentioned disappear, so we don't need to write down negative, we'll just put down 2000. And 2000 what? The unit is acres. So 2000 acres. And don't forget to mention per year. Whoop. Just like that. That's it.